India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. The Meghalaya government yesterday constituted a state-level medical expert committee for providing advice and guidance to deal with the coronavirus outbreak. Chief Secretary M.S. Rao notified the committee, which will be headed by Health and Family Welfare Department Commissioner and Secretary Sampat Kumar. The members of the committee include doctors of state-run hospitals and specialists in rehabilitation and community empowerment. The committee will provide advice and guidance to the government and other medical practitioners in various hospitals to handle and treat COVID-19 patients. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma reviewed the state's preparedness to handle the coronavirus outbreak at Tura in West Garo Hills District yesterday. No coronavirus case has been reported in Meghale so far. The Deputy Commissioner East Khasi Hills District has informed that in order to enable residents of Bishop Cotton and Maccabay localities in Shillong to purchase basic and daily essential commodities during the ongoing curfew, temporary grocery sites have been set up from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. today. Over 2,500 people who recently returned from other parts of the country have been placed under home quarantine in Nagaland where no person has so far tested positive for COVID-19. Out of the 17 samples that were sent for testing, results for 13 were negative and the remaining reports are awaited. Government spokesperson and Minister for Planning and Coordination, Neighbor Krono, said, A round-the-clock COVID-19 control room is monitoring the situation in Nagaland. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonawal has said that the state government is taking steps to ensure the supply of essential commodities to the people. Visiting Golaghat and Karbianglong districts yesterday, the Chief Minister said he was monitoring the steps taken by the district administration to ensure the supply of essential commodities during the 21-day lockdown. Mr. Sonowal also expressed displeasure over the incidents of attacks on policemen enforcing the lockdown and asserted that the government will not tolerate any attack on police personnel. The Assam government has decided to establish five hospitals in Guwahati, Dibruga, Jorhat, Bongaigao and Silchar to deal with any eventuality arising out of the coronavirus outbreak. The Northeast Frontier Railway has converted sleeper coaches into isolation wards with medical facilities at Guwahati, Kamakya and Dibruga railway stations. The Sikkim government has announced a one-time assistance of 5,000 rupees to the students who have been stranded outside the state in the wake of the 21-day nationwide lockdown. The Chief Minister's Office and the Education Department will monitor the transfer of money to the students who could not return to the state, Chief Secretary S.C. Gupta said. The state government has also decided to provide insurance to all the frontline warriors for a period of three months who have been engaged in containing the COVID-19 outbreak in the state. No COVID-19 positive case has been detected in Sikkim so far. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in his Monkey Bath program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. today. It will be the 63rd episode of the monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan and also on All India Radio news website www.newsonair.com and News on A mobile app. It will also be streamed live on the YouTube channels of All India Radio, Doordarshan News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. All India Radio will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.